Since the beginning of the distinctly European phase of the ongoing debt crisis, Germany, France, and the Netherlands have united to press for austerity in other Eurozone countries. These three make up the economic core of the Eurozone, and they've used this as leverage, backing financial assistance to struggling economies in exchange for agreements to tighter surveillance and control of national budgets. Each of the three has its own reasons to advocate for fiscal austerity. Germany is the largest contributor to European financial assistance, and it sees a lot of money at stake. The German economy is heavily reliant on exports to the rest of Europe, and it needs the bailout funds to be effective and sustainable. France is aligning itself with Germany in an attempt to control Berlin's power and to differentiate itself from its troubled southern neighbors such as Greece. The Netherlands is the main export point between Europe and the world, so it wants to see a continued healthy Eurozone. It's also geographically situated between France and Germany, and thus wants to facilitate their continued peaceful relations. These countries have acted more or less together in the past two years, but in the coming months, each will face domestic challenges that will weaken their coalition. In Germany, Chancellor Angela Merkel is facing opposition to German-backed EU policies as well as stiff competition in regional elections that will challenge her ability to effectively govern. French President Nicolas Sarkozy is currently the underdog in his re-election fight against Socialist Party candidate Francois Hollande, who has voiced strong opposition to EU austerity measures. The Netherlands is facing a weakening economy as well as a weakening coalition government. Other Eurozone countries will attempt to take advantage of these domestic distractions to relax their own austerity measures. In fact, Spain has already done so, securing permission from Eurozone finance ministers on March 13th to run a higher deficit for this year's budget than previously agreed upon. The most effective enforcer of austerity is the market. If bond yields again rise like they did in the second half of 2011, Real pressure is felt by European governments to reform their fiscal regimes and cut spending. The ECB can then fine-tune this pressure by buying sovereign bonds and expanding liquidity to bring borrowing costs back from the brink. Oh.